All right, let's get to the lifestyle portion of the uh, podcast here. And look, when we talk about Vegas, Steve, you know, it's it's gambling, it's sports betting, it's the shows. We've talked a lot about that here on this uh, Fezzik Focus podcast throughout the season. And, you know, maybe there's families that are coming in with young ones, or maybe they're not people that are coming in for those business conventions. Maybe they're not, you know, guys that want to play or gals that want to play at the tables or going to want to check out the shows outside of that what else is there to do in vegas maybe it's not how it doesn't have to be on the street maybe it's on the outskirts you know you rented a car you can drive around you're out there for a couple days what are the best things you would like to do uh, as something that's vegas that's maybe non-gambling related I'm going to throw two things out there. You're going to need a car. So Red Rock is pretty awesome, especially, yeah. you know, like if you've got really young kids, um, you know, it's a 13 mile loop. It's um, close by the Red Rock Casino in Summerlin. And if you have kids, you either, there's very easy trails like the Calico Tanks Trail that you can go walking along. If you're a little bit adventurous and you're um, and you're up for some bouldering, you can actually scramble up the uh, Calico Hills and go up like 700 feet and see a view of, of Vegas. So as far as bang for the buck, that's um, that really is outstanding. And even if you just are, um, don't want to even get out of your car, other than snap photos, just driving around and seeing the different views and the mountains, it, it, it truly is spectacular. And it's so close to Vegas. It's definitely worthwhile doing. Yeah, 100%. Again, there's a lot of just things around. I mean, you could just drive out to... Utah, if you wanted to, the I mean, the Grand Canyon isn't. It's only a couple hours drive there. Obviously, the Hoover Dam there as well. But like uh, Steve mentioned, there's so many scenic points there in Vegas uh, that you can do um, outside of the you know the traditional stuff there. And I just discovered, I yes. just discovered a family park. It's called Mountains Edge Regional Park. Okay, and it's an enormous complex. They've got all these baseball stadiums out there, uh, baseball fields that are like pro. Uh, um, but but they're you know real um, uh, like 388 feet to center. I mean they're 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 they're, they're good sized stadiums. But right next door they have basketball courts and they have ten, they have like a big tennis wall. You can hit the ball against the wall. Handball courts and something for everyone out there at um, Mountains Edge. And so that's my secret we- weapon. Don't tell Todd Wishnev. My secret weapon to beating Todd, who I've never beaten, is I'm just going to pound balls against the wall because. If I play too much tennis, I get injured. I get banged up because yeah. I'm too old. But just standing there and like adjusting. Now I know you can have a machine hitting the ball to you, but like the idea that you can you can really work on different shots and pace and everything else. I am excited. That's going to lead me to the path to victory. I use that's when I the one time I was good at tennis was at the University of Dayton. They had a wall, mm-hmm. and I would just pound. It's like pounding balls on the driving range. I would just pound balls against that wall back when I was a kid. There you go. A, a secret uh, from Fez. Uh, if you are in that Vegas area. Last bit, I want to mention this, Fez. Have you been to the Mob Museum down there in downtown? I hear good things. Um, I know the Las Vegas Advisor coupon has has like a two for one or a discount on the Mob Museum, but I hear it's quite good. Yes. Yeah, have, I've, have I've you? Been, yeah, I've been there. Uh, this was a couple of years ago. I think it was pre-COVID, but um, it's pretty awesome. You need to get out there. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it at that much. I don't want to give too much away. I believe there is also a speakeasy uh, if you go down the stairs there, I think you have to say some type of code to get in there. Uh, but the, also the mob museum is, it's pretty awesome. If you are in town, you definitely need to check it out there. Uh, I, I definitely want to speak to the speakeasies. All right. Okay. I had an epiphany because Vegas has some of the greatest lounges ever yeah. um, and, and, and gourmet restaurants. And I really think the way to go is to, well, well, like I'm a big believer. You go into a high limit room, Find like a no mid shoe entry, especially like on a shoe. All right. Mm-hmm. So you sit down and you're one deck in. All right. Or a double deck. They're just starting. And by the time they get deep into the first deck, you can order your 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 apple martini or your old fashioned, your twenty dollar you know top rate brand drink. And um and then you can you, you literally cannot even play a hand. Or you can wait and you can you know if you want to you 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 play one hand of a hundred dollars. And if you lose that one. You just make it some excuse. Oh, not feeling it, you know, and 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 walk out. Or if you win one, say, yep, I I turned a profit. Um, and then you go to a place like Delilah, Supper Cub Club, or Mama Wolf, or Nobu, and it's gonna set you back a huge amount to eat there. But you know what? If you just go into the bar, the ambiance in those places is fantastic, and just have yeah. one round of drinks. Um, those you're gonna have to pay for, but um I you're getting like 
50% of the experience. It's almost like going to, when you go to Disney World or Disneyland, but you don't go into the park, you go into that area outside the park there and they've got the yeah. shops and everything else. And you kind of get the Disney experience without having to pay for the fee. Or, you know, if you're only going to be there for half an hour, I would definitely recommend everyone to do that. 100%. Nobu, I I feel like you've mentioned this before. Is that the place that has the the great tacos? Yeah, it has the beef wagyu tacos that are like it's like forty dollars for these two two ounce tacos. So per ounce, it's probably the most expensive thing. But Fezzi's got you covered. If you if you want to get out there on a budget, the spicy rock shrimp. I think it's only like thirty two dollars and includes like a bed of lettuce. So you you can get that with that, and it kind of is an all encompassing. You, you you're good to go. Your your server won't be happy with you. Probably eat at the bar. Order the rock shrimp. Get a, a pineapple martini. Uh, your bill will come to sixty dollars. If you're a Diamond member, though, Diamond Club, you get four free drinks at Nobu. So um, then you then you drink two rounds and buy two rounds for the neighbor next to you. There you go.